<laughs> well, my dogs that we back. Listen, I'm gonna start start this thing with a heavy heart for myself personally. My dog, my one of my offensive linemen. A lot of people don't know I played arena football for about two or three years at the end of my career. And one of the guys that looked out for me when I first got in was my offensive lineman, man, Big Ruff. Big Ruff was a young guy. He was young. Uh, the best way to describe him, man, is always on 100. But so much energy, always positive, always a life of the party. Uh, passed away yesterday. Passed away yesterday, man, and I want to take my hat so to his family, my condolences to his family, his friends, Pia, Turner, Ray, you know y'all boys' hearts are heavy, man, and so is mine's. And um, he 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 was a guy that he was like, you know, don't cry, don't do this. He always wanted a celebration, so we're gonna celebrate that boy. We're gonna celebrate him. We're gonna celebrate him today. We're gonna celebrate his funeral, um, cause that's the type of dude he was, man. He didn't want you to be sad. He always, no matter what, I've never. I told Ray today, I've never seen this dude unhappy. I've never seen him not smiling. I've never seen him not just energized. So. Big Rough, I know you're listening, dawg. This one's for you, man. Uh, and to you, your family, your loved ones, your girl, fiance. Um, love you, bro. Love you, dude. And we're going to miss you, man. But we're going to celebrate for you, big dog. That's where we at, where my dog's at. We back. We're going to be back, man. And we got LSU, uh, Miles leaving. We got preseason football we got everything leading up to these tigers we got hot topics by jay we're gonna get all into camp life for these tigers how they've been going at it i know they had a big scrimmage today um and we're gonna be back to dive all into it and we'll be back on where my dog's at <laughs> So, so, well, I gotta tell you yeah, what happened. So, so, man, it's a when they play that song, that fight song, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter in the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us, and we were getting our ass destroyed. Yeah, it was it was thirteen that in the halftime. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did. At a time Show did. It, it man. They absolutely that did. That goddamn song got in my bones, and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> and I told Coach Saber was walking, and I told Coach Saber, Coach, I want to play. And he looked at me and said, "Why don't you step behind me?" Like <laughs> topics dog How you feeling hot man? topics let's get into that right now what we talking about right now is you know myself i played for uh coach jimbo fisher and i also played for coach nick saban um at the hot twilight of my years at lsu uh transferring from coach jerry Donardo. and I, i've spoken about this a couple times we gotta turn the air up down in here though damn um I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for, so for, for Coach Saban to, excuse me, to go into the, the, the kind of rant that he did but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the, the name calling part, I think somebody might have slipped, slipped him a Mickey or, 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 or slipped him something uh, before, he, before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some 
uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys, and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parody and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parody is happening. You know what I mean? Parody is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack, and now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at, that, at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how are you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money? You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after, and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checks books and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you said, get some kind of parity for the, NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up. I know all that break we had all that time all that time and he come get op come get that wine as soon as you come back Not but that's how we do it in here baby <laughs> that's how we do it wait we got we got lsu football and college football popping popping off right now i just saw some preseason game uh the seattle seahawks uh, with that with that big monster they got out there, wide receiver, that boy DK Metcalf. Whew, my goodness. So what we think about them Tigers? What we think about them Tigers? I know, we'll, we'll take a look at the DBs. So we got the footage of the DB. Put the DBs up there. We'll take a uh, good little footage of them here. DJ. 87, that's, that's, that's Taylor? Yeah. Whew. Major Burns just didn't finish that play. Though. Hey. Major's going to be all right, man. A lot of people talk about Major, Major transfer no, from did. Georgia. That's what um, Brian Kelly said in his press conference yesterday. He was just saying how, like, he's such a smart and savvy player. Major. And then he just brings smart, like, smartness to the defensive structure, and he communicates well, and his communication really makes him, like, a all-around better football player. Well, what's one, of the, what's one of the main things in a relationship? You always hear people talking about. I'm talking about a regular relationship, right? Communication. Everything you hear people talk about is communication. Mm -hmm. A relationship don't work, they're not communicating. Quarterback, don't get the signals, communication. Same shit with the DBs. You got to have – that's, uh, you know, that's one of the good things. Um, uh, that boy I played with, Ryan Clark. That's what he was good at. Ryan Clark was good at communicating the signals and making sure everybody on defense knew what was going on. So communication is a key. And and I'm going to tell you, I've been hard on these DBs. We, hear, we see 13 here uh, going up, making a play. I've been hard on it because you got some transfer, you got some patchwork, you got this, you got that going on. But I'm interested, dude, to see how the secondary comes together. Because, you know, one of the, the defensive line and the linebackers, you know what you're going to get there. You know what you're going to get with the pressures. You know you're going to get with Big Jaquel and Roy and all them boys, Ali Gay and all them boys. But the secondary, which we DBU, the secondary – is what I think is going to be under the microscope, especially going into this uh, this first this well not that I'm about to say the first week, but this first game 
against damn uh, Florida State. And, and it BK shouldn't. Said. Huh? That's what BK said. He was just talking about how in the beginning they were kind of worried about, like, the secondary and stuff like that. But he was saying now they recruited pretty well. And I think he good. It's pretty interchangeable right now. What you think, Will? Oh, yeah, it's it's pretty interchangeable in the secondary. I mean, interchangeable, I, like, interchangeable. In terms of like, how how can in terms of like the amount of bodies that they have? It's just they got so much depth. Like That's they have they is. they build depth and like they have. Hey man, you got Anthony Richardson to transfer from. His McNeese. name is Colby Richardson. Colby Richardson, sorry, Colby. Colby Richardson from McNeese. <laughs> He's been uh, running with the ones, and then on the other side you got Converse. Bernard Converse and Seven um, Banks <clears throat> kind of interchanging right there. And then you got Makai Gardner, the transfer yeah. from UL, who who is also behind. I guess they and, like – that's what he was saying. They're interchangeable in that way. Well, interchangeable meaning they could go too deep or interchangeable meaning my safety could play corner, my corner could play safety. What's interchangeable? Because they could go too deep, I would think. He said it more like in the corner position, he was like, we got six that can definitely play. Like six that we can – Switch out. Yeah, that's what he said in his press conference. Can you right? believe that? I we seen it. We yeah, yeah we have seen all. You seen what? It's six corners. I no, mean, I'm saying like you seen six corners that are seen, interchangeable. I haven't seen much from Bernard Converse as much as everybody else is seeing, but we haven't also didn't see yesterday. They say he gonna play though. To, but I've seen a lot from uh, Richardson. He is he is what they say he is. He's just a natural athlete. That's fine. But you're telling me that you got six DB, you got six corners. I ain't talking about safeties. Mm-hmm. I'm telling me you got six corners that are all could, that you could interchange, that you could switch them out, switch them out. So that means you don't have a first string corner. I think four. So you don't yeah. have a starter, is right. what they're saying. You basically, don't have a it's a competition. It's a competition. That's, what, that's basically what he was saying. Basically, every position right now is a competition. He's and it should be. And it should be. Every position should be a competition. That's the only way you create uncomfortability. Mm-hmm. You do not want them young boys comfortable. This is my spot. This is this. Now, even though you may know freaking Ali Gay going to start that defensive yeah. end or whatever, but you still create that damn uncomfortability. Everybody around that bitch need to be walking on eggshells. Right. right. Uh, Real shit. He also said another problem the other day during the scrimmage that we did not see, but what he said was that they had problems with the snaps from the center. So That's what guy, would you say? Well, the guy, and they have, the guy that they have playing center, Gary Dellinger, he's is never not a center. center he's never he played, played center. What, That's going to be a problem. He's their best offensive lineman. They think he's their smartest offensive lineman, and they put him at center. Because yeah, well, that's going to be a work in progress. But if he's he, doing good. If he's never played a position, yeah. it's going to be a work in progress. He's not going to get in there and snap the bitch and everything go right. But none of so, them. He what? was saying they don't have, like, no experience really as center, so they was like, we just – no, I understand, guy. but that's what I'm saying. If he's never done it, you put the most capable person in that position, and your center has to be the smartest person on the offensive lineman. Mm-hmm. He's the one that's actually going to help the quarterback make the calls when you have those young quarterbacks in there that don't know what the hell's going on at the time. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a work in progress, and that's going to be something that you're going to have to pay attention to, though. Mm-hmm. Speaking you, of quarterback, You're going to have to pay attention to the snaps, getting the snaps, and him – now you got him having to snap and going to a position that he's never played and making calls. You know what I mean? So that is that is listen, that is that that's like have, that's like having a brand new quarterback. Because just think about it, who are the two people that touch the ball on every play? Sitting on the quarterback. quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Speaking well, of quarterbacks, though, what about Jaden Daniels? Jaden Daniels and and that, my, that, it's, that race again. It's it getting, was like this, but it's kind of it's, it's starting now. to separate, but. It's still it's still a lot in the air because Brian Kelly has me and Lloyd. I talked to Lloyd earlier. He was he was he said he'd been doing his research on Notre Dame. We've been watching a lot of Notre Dame lately. I can tell and, you who the starters going to be. And they've been they've been Brian Kelly has played two quarterback systems six times. So, and that's fine, but that ain't the best thing for us. No. I can tell you who the quarterback's going to be though. It should be nuts, but I think that right now. It's probably gonna be Jaden Daniels just because he's just so mobile. Like it, it works. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Isn't that my mobile? Yeah. That is true, and he got more of the so size. So that's what I'm saying. It can go either way. Jaden Daniels would be your quarterback. Yeah, part of the reason why I feel like it too is because he does have the most experience. Who? Daniels. Jaden Daniels would be your quarterback because if you make Nussmeyer your quarterback, it causes a rift with. Uh, Walker and Ricky Collins. Ricky Collins. They all because be you cannot have a redshirt freshman start 
And now, now this is just, you know, this is just me thinking. You've made these promises to certain people. You're going to come in and compete for a job next year. You got Walker Howard sitting there competing for a job next year. If you make Nussmeyer your starter going into this year, who's your starter going into next year? Nussmeyer. You're right. Right? So, politically, it should not be that way, and I hope it's not. For me, from what I've seen and, and, and seeing from the guy being there, it's a, it's a dead heat, dude. It's yeah. a dead heat right now, I think they like in my opinion. Uh, and until you see, and FSU isn't the game where, <laughs> you know, you th- you roll it out and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. If you had it the, the reverse, now you had Southern first and had FSU next, then you can see what's up. Let me give you a quarter. Let me give you some. Give that. They and I don't. That. Huh? They should have did that. Nah. And I don't know okay. what what the the plan is going to be for them. But me, I think Jaden Daniels starts, and whether it's he's starting, but Nussmeier's really start the starter. But we're going to start him. And then that's my takes over later on. Mm-hmm. And now you have that to go on where we didn't start. You guys to still come in and compete for the job. However that goes. But, you know, listen, man, I, I've been in it long enough and been a part of it long enough to know that, especially in a year where you're not expected to do much. You know what I mean? Not saying we're not going to compete. We're always going to compete. But not, let's say we're not expected to win, you know, a championship, yeah. like our aspirations. So, and also, these guys have a mulligan, so to speak. It's, nobody's expecting too much. We're not expecting you to compete. We're expecting you to roll out there and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But new coaches, new players, new quarterbacks, new offensive line, new this, new that, all across the board. So we understand. I, I do. I understand. Uh, but you still got to go out there and compete and play football, and it has to be LSU football. You know what I'm saying? But at the same token, there's a lot of politics that goes on because you're building and you're continuing to build. You know what I mean? So we'll see. And it was a lot, and I know it was a lot promised to a lot of these kids. That's why you've seen the demise of uh, Miles Brennan Mm -hmm. and now Jaden Daniels. Now, why would Miles come back? If you didn't think he had (laughs) Right. You know what I mean? And so other. get Daniels and it's like. You know what I mean? So. It's going to be interesting, bro. What y'all think? I mean, I think it's dead luck. I think it's a dead, like, it's neck and neck, and Florida State will probably see both of them. I know we're going to see both of them Yeah, Florida State. Yeah. And I think they might start Nuss just because Nuss is probably the better quarterback in terms of passing, like pure passing, and, and he can move a little bit. And then you Why can, y'all keep you saying can throw, he can move a little bit? I know he can move a lot. Why y'all keep just, saying that, though? Like, yeah, he can Wayne, move. What? All we did last year was see this dude run around and throw the football. Yeah, and everybody keeps saying that this other kid is more mobile. He may be faster, yeah. but he's no more mobile. Everything oh. last year was about Nussmeyer running and whoop, 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 and throwing from all these angles and all that. Not everybody's saying the kid oh. can't move. What the fuck? Jada's just talking? faster. That's, like, yeah. that's, that's it. it that's what it is. That's, that's it. That's why people think he's more mobile. That's but it. What I'm saying But is, I'm trying to tell you, you don't need to have a, be a 4-4 four, four guy no. in order to move and create. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I'm saying is... Who do you think got better accuracy then? Nussmeyer. And that's where I think the separation comes, honestly. That's where I think the separation comes. I think the separation comes in accuracy. And being... Huh? He got better. That's He's gotten better, but that's... I'm Man, I'm looking at the whole body. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that when it comes to playing from the pocket, even though Nuss is a little smaller, I think... He played, and this is on them damn coaches, Dan Brock and Sloan. They gotta be able to curtail and get him right. I just, he's more of a challenge, mm-hmm. right? But I also feel like if you're trying to build for a future at LSU and the program, and you want a guy, and then you continue to recruit and you continue to build, I think that you go with us, especially if it's so close. You know what I mean? Especially if it's so close. I think you go with him and you give him the reins and, 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 and let him do his thing and you coach him. You do what all them M's on, your, on the back of your shit call for. You coach him and, and, and you let him understand. The biggest thing they have to understand with, with, with all these guys, especially us, is situation football. Situational football. Understand down and distances. Understand when the journey's over because he's a gunslinger and he's a guy that's going to be running around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So... 
I I personally would run with Nuss, especially if it's so tight, bro. Mm-hmm. You know who else been? I you said about standing out. Who really has been standing out is Brian Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Like every B- practice, BT is hey, just, it's just that's my guy. You know, I coached BT at Walker for like a year. Well, I shouldn't say I coached him. I was coached them. Hey, he's a full grown man, bro. And, and I think he showed a lot of it last year. And just, you know, it's just tailored off towards the end. Mm-hmm. I think just like any other freshmen when they come into, come into college, long season, going to school and all that. But for him to be so big, his feet are unbelievable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? I got a clip for you, bro. Where is that? His feet are unbelievable, bro. He plays like he's 5'9". His feet, he moves like he's 5'9". That receiver room just got so much depth. Now that's that that you ain't lying. You ain't they lying. got Malik neighbors. You got Kayshawn. Jack. Yeah. Jack Besh. The 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 monster Jack Besh. Jack Besh a monster, bro. But they were talking about Jare as well, because Jare had Jure. a pretty good day at practice. And you know what Jare brings to that? He brings that that veteran leadership. Though. Well, that's what Brian Kelly was saying. He was just like he, he wanted to see that same energy and effort from Jare every day in practice yeah, because he wants yeah. him to have that. He, that's consistency. He wants him to be consistent, and he wants and, him to bring that leadership. And honestly, he could um, he can be one of those leaders on that football team, like like Brian Kelly's looking for. Because he wants him to be the that. thing about it is he show up on game day though. Yeah. That son bitch show up on game day, and he may not. And that's the thing, though. Some guys, man, because I was that way. You gotta understand, like sometimes some guys, they just practice just ain't their thing. Like mm-hmm. that shit ain't exciting. What's exciting about practice? You know what I mean? But you have to condition yourself, especially as a young athlete. You have to condition yourself that when I get ready to go to practice, I'm not just looking at it like I'm go. I gotta get through these two hours. I have to look at it as I have to work on something specifically within those two hours and get better instead of getting through it. You know what I mean? So that's because I hated practice, bro. But once I look, started looking at it that way, well, today I'm going to work on my deep ball, get my deep ball better. I'm going to work on my accuracy on my short, on my short, my intermediate passing game. And then, you know, I'm going to get all my signals and everything perfect. If you go into it with a plan and, a menta- and, and a, with a plan for that practice, You'll be all the way better. So all them young, all you young guys that hate practice, that because I boy I hated practice. Just make a plan for practice, um, and carry it out. Have something that you want to work on every day. You got you got us clipped up though. You still searching? You still searching? Gotta see which one it is. What we got? What we got uh, for hot topics, Jay? What do we have? Hey, let me, I know one we got. Let me, let me before I jump off subject a little bit. I remember um, a couple of weeks ago we was talking about. It might have been last week. I was talking about coaches, right? We were mm-hmm. talking about coaches living through these kids, and I know you got it of um, the shooting. Uh, where was it at? In Dallas. It was in Dallas. In Dallas, um, at a youth football game um the brother of Akib Talib former Broncos defensive back um his brother shot and killed a coach coach from the opposing um team the head coach over um a call over over a, um, a call. I think it was a um, a late hit call. I think it might have been like a late hit. Um, there were over eighty kids out at the park at the football game. Not to mention the parents and everything like that. And a brawl ensued after the late hit with coaches, not players. I'm sure players probably got into it, but coaches, coaches, uh, coaches that are entrusted with our kids to keep them safe when we drop them off and all that. And I know a lot of coaches that takes that very seriously, such as myself. Um, So this act 
um, was something that was very, 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 very ego driven, um, I believe. Um, and to do this out on a park where you could have had kids injured as well, it's just, it's unconscionable. You know what I mean? It's something that you just, you just, you can't shake. And for that to happen on a play, on a, on a public facility like that, that's, the trend that's going on now with all this bullshit, shootings and killings and all that's that's going on, man, it's, it's becoming something that's happening way too often. It's happening all the time, you know? And now it hits closer with a former player being involved with this. And it, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. The, 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 the guy's son was there. The, the shooter's son and the guy's son that, that got killed. So now all those kids have to go and re, re, relive all that trauma. Um, they all gonna need counseling. They all gonna need some form of counseling. Um, but more importantly, let's get to the, to, to the adults involved with this, bro. Because it's a certain, I know a lot of people talk about like responsibility and you're not a role model, you're not this and you're not that and all that shit. Well, when you sign up and say, I'm going to work with kids and I'm going to do this and I'm going to be a youth coach and I'm going to do this and do that, you are. You're saying you're a role model. G shit. You're saying that I take this responsibility. You know what I'm saying? You're saying I ain't bringing no pistol to the field. I'm not bringing no gun to the field. Why is a gun at the field? You know what I mean? You're saying that. What? And we hear about all these gun laws and all these things that's going on, but it ain't gun laws, dog. It don't have nothing to do with gun laws, man. It got to do with ego-driven dumb motherfuckers. Like, that, that, and if somebody think different, uh, let me know. Because I ain't never seen a gun shoot itself. Let me know if you ever seen a gun shoot itself. I ain't never seen a gun shoot itself, man. Mm -mm. So for this to go down on the field, I can only imagine, bro, like, we we throw seven-on-seven seven tournaments and shit starting in January all the way through. Shout out to my dog, King Anio, man. F3, everybody dealing with F3, Miss Anderson, everybody, Miss Loretta, our whole staff, all our coaches. Look forward to getting it back going with them. But just imagine we was at a tournament and somebody out there started shooting. You know what I'm saying? And all these kids and all these spectators running around. It's chaotic, bro. So I, I don't know what, what, what this trend is or what's going on. I don't know how to combat it, but we all need more than more, po I, you're talking about you know, about the police and this and that, man. You just need to have sensible people, man. You need to have people owning up and taking responsibility for what you sign up to do. If you find, if you sign up to take care of kids and you sign up to deal with these kids, man, do that, do that, and don't let nothing else get in the way. Do that, because once you do that, these kids will be safe. And it's, oh, it's and then the thing about it, dude, then we talk about black on black crime. You see that shit every day. Mm -hmm. You see that shit every day. But you want to get up there and argue about this and argue about that. The white people, but you walk up in front of 80, 80 kids and shoot your gun and, and, and take lives and destroy your own people. So but that's crazy. my rant on that. Stuff like that happened in Dallas all the time. I remember at like, I think my freshman year of college, I went home for a basketball game. It was Dallas Carter versus Dallas Campbell. Dallas Campbell's Carter like was that. good. Yeah. And we were, I was in the bathroom with one of my friends. And we just hear shooting. So we hid in the bathroom. We come at a outside basketball game? at a basketball game. And it was, we come out the bathroom. He laid out right there in front of the bathroom. Mm. Everybody was running. So. What year was that? 2020. See, I'm saying shit been going on, bro. That was January 2020. Shit been going on. You got all the school stuff going on. All this, you, you got things like this going on. It's, it's a lot of crazy shit going on. Hey, but on a more crazier note, did y'all see Marshawn Lynch? Yeah, you seen him get snatched out the car? <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, though. What was he on? Everything. 
I know he was on that Hennessy. <laughs> you know, you know that. Now. You know he that. He was on that yes. You know that. Hennessy, probably some, you know, he probably smoking. Dog, probably. did you see the car, though? That's what he was telling he, me last week. He might have popped a Xan or something. Dude. He had to. Did you he was see? probably sleep driving. Because like. <clears throat> to not have a tire on on the rim is crazy but, and that's a like a, a shelby like that's a that's that's a premium vehicle like that's a, that rim is like that's a hundred thousand dollar car yeah that's what i'm saying like a hundred thousand dollar car you just ran in the ground that's he what i'm saying it's probably in the yeah but no and then like the it was on rims nah rims you know what i'm saying like and even and then the, the driver's side was flat <laughs> and you know them tires cost about hey Marshawn was laughing he was laughing. It was so funny, man. That lady asked him, "Does is does those grills come out?" The police officer. She was like, "Does those grills come out?" And she asked him, "How can you afford those?" Marshawn started laughing. Yeah. That was crazy as hell. That's yeah. when he should have known he was about to go to jail. Yeah, but I didn't see when they snatched him out of the yeah, car. I stopped snatched, watching. They snatched him out the wood. He wasn't getting up though. That boy was asleep, man. Was, he Honestly, was like, man, everything all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> what else you got, Jay? The NFL um, reached an agreement on an 11-game suspension for Deshaun Watson, but it oh, also Deshaun. includes a $5 million fine that will go to charity. Yeah, that ain't really but it's not, that. like, signed upon yet, but they essentially agreed on it. Damn. That ain't going to hurt them. That, that little $5 million is not going to hurt them. Not playing the games, that's what's going to hurt them. Yeah, them like M's, them five M's ain't, I mean, five million, five million, dog. Yeah, it is. It's going to hurt. At the end of the day, it's going to hurt because it's five million. It's probably million. not going to hurt that. Nah. Day. I mean, the boy got guaranteed 240, right? Yeah. yeah. What he got guaranteed? 240. 250? Oh, million? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then, yeah. I don't know if he got guaranteed all that. Yeah, yeah man. Got, what you talking about? It was fully guaranteed, right? Fully guaranteed, man. man I don't even know how he got that deal. Hold up, Cleveland must have knew. Like, somebody had to know something. Yeah, his deal guaranteed, huh? Let me see. I Statistician. Know I know it's guaranteed, but I don't know if two hundred thirty. Oh no, it all is. Where all you go, man? What guaranteed. you talking about? We got yeah, you on something. They knew what something. they was doing. What? Was they knew what they was doing with of that Of course, the whole thing guaranteed. And he got forty-five million dollars just for signing, like the signing bonus. Like that's crazy. Oh, no. He gonna take that, Let's take that five off of like there his, and just throw base, it at him. His base salary for forty six million. Like, yeah, he that's, that's what I'm telling you. He ain't right tripping, man. Oh yeah, he making forty five million this season. He ain't. Uh, then then the other, but then the other thing is, you know, we don't know like the club. They could pay that shit for him. Yeah, we don't true. know they could pay it because I know a lot of guys. Man, when I play there, have it in they uh in their contract. You know what I mean? Like, oh, if I get fined, y'all pay fifty percent of my fine, oh, or you know what I mean. Anything like that. Oh, y'all pay the first four. That's good agent work right there. You got to have good agent work, though. That's the name of the game. The, hey, word play is real. It is. You know what I mean? Very. How you situate that contract is real. Shout out to Joe Siegel, man. One of the best in the business, man. And uh, the Derwin James got paid. Oh, I saw that alert. Der hey, Derwin James, though, is a monster. And it show you how good he is. For real. Because he been hurt. Exactly. The what they gave that boy? What seven, seven years? Yeah, seven years four years, million. seventy-six million. Yeah, that's a good high, contract. Well, he the highest paid safety now. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good contract though. That means he gonna re up. Duran James, young too. What is he about? Twenty-three. He a young cat. Oh, nah, so he not. He not that young. He not that young. He not that young. He might be like twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay. He's Twenty-six. Okay. Yeah. He still so he ain't had another contract in three like years. He raw and he ain't been hurt like you pointed out. So he fresh. Yeah. He fresh. Duran James raw. He raw. I fool with Derby. Yeah, we went Florida State, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he raw. The nose. Jimbo was telling me about him. He raw. He good. Derby James raw. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for real. And, 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 and oh, San Diego. San Diego gonna go gonna be. Mm -hmm. L.A. L.A., yeah. They yeah. gonna be something. Yeah, they got, they got something over there. That boy, what's they that quarterback? They... Hibbert? Herbert. Herbert. Yep. What's his name? Herbert, Herbert. or Hibbert? Herbert. Herbert. Herbert raw. Herbert raw. They got Keenan Allen. Keenan. Mike Williams. I don't know who they tied in. I think they tied in Hunter Henry. They got Eckler at yeah, running back. Yeah, at running back. They Both, was good last year. Defense. Uh, yeah, they was good. They had a couple injuries last year on defense that slowed them down, but they're going to be good. That, that, that doggone uh, league going to be very – that conference going to be up there this year. 
I definitely anticipate that conference getting up there this year. Uh, I, listen, Herbert, if, listen, if he come out and play like he did at the end of the season, he going to be in the MVP race again. Seriously, he gonna be the MVP. He hey, he in the same mold as that boy in Buffalo, dog. Oh yeah, with Josh that arm. Josh Allen. Yeah, that Josh boy Allen a monster. That boy in Buffalo different. Yeah, Josh Allen a monster. Yeah, Josh Allen different for sure. I mean, six five, two forty. All of it. All of it. Josh Allen a monster. He he he. But listen, there ain't gonna be no surprise this year though. Josh Allen ain't gonna be no surprise. Mm-mm. Buffalo ain't gonna be no surprise either. Uh, going in this year, and I'm gonna tell you that AFC gonna tighten up, boy. That AFC about to be Miami. Tight. It's gonna be very interesting to see what them Pats do. My old former squad. We're gonna see if that boy from Bama could keep it going again over there. What's that boy's name? Jones. Yeah, Matt Jones. Jones. They don't have an offensive coordinator. Well, I Matt saw Patricia that Matt Patricia office. and uh, the other one, uh, 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 Judge. Oh, Joe they, Judge. They 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 split. Cool. They splitting. And dog, uh, let me tell you though. Bill calling that. Uh, you, know. you know, like we know bro. Yeah, like Bill gonna make sure all that shit kosher. You know what I'm saying? And the game plan gonna be similar to what they did with Josh McDaniels. They gonna know what like it ain't like they weren't there. You know what I mean? They gonna mm. know what 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 Matt Jones does well. You know what I mean? But in New England, dog, it's always about the defense. Except with Tom now. But he ain't out. Mm-hmm. So it's about the defense. Their defense young and trying to get after it. We'll see. Miami, though. Miami, to me, That's the is team. the sleeper. The dark and, horse. Yeah. Like, I guess not a sleeper, but a dark. Because they got the monsters. They got the monsters Tua out there. got to so. get it to them dogs. Bro. I think he could do it. On that old line. You know, everything comes down to the old line. Mm-hmm. Just like LSU. Just like LSU. You can say what they want by the damn with receivers and all that. But if that line don't come together... That's the key. Offensively, learn how to not read just now. Insistence. Insistence, sorry. Insistence. I don't know why that word looks, it looks so hard. Like, I don't know. Thank I you, looked Ron. at it. I got a little Thank you, Ron. I got a little dyslexia. <laughs> Thank you, OP. Appreciate it. Huh? Wait a minute. Come in. <laughs> um, so, LeBron, he's putting his best foot forward because he wants Kyrie. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Essentially, but, yeah. Well, I mean, hell, his early part of his better years was with Kyrie, yeah. right? Yeah, but Ro, you heard what she just said. Two years, ninety-seven million. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's LeBron, LeBron. I though. get it, but like we just talked about Derwin James, and he twenty-six in in his what fifth year in the league. Or Who Derwin James? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In his fifth year, and he just but that's got LeBron, four years, though, bro. Four years, seventy-nine million. But that's we talk about any superstar football player. They got to wait seven, Derwin, eight years to get what LeBron yeah, getting in two years. I know, you unless know you're a quarterback. Exactly. No, you're right, but I mean, fuck, it's LeBron. Crazy. Yeah, I know, I get it. I mean, it's LeBron. Dog, he done paid his dude, the boy. What? How many years is this for the boy? 20. See, like for me, let me tell you how. 36. Yeah, but let me tell you how I feel about that shit here, though. Like, I feel like you should, as you go on, get that bread like that. Yeah. Because yeah. you done put it in. You know what I mean? Like. I feel like you more entitled, like, when you go that route as a LeBron, as these guys that be on their back end and you done put it in, get them their money, as opposed to you throwing 40, 50 bands at 40, 50 million at a guy that's straight off potential. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I understand, get your money, but I'm going to give you 20. I'm going to give LeBron and them boys, KD, them boys that done put in that work and you know what you're going to get from them week, night in and night out. I'm going to give them the bag. You know what I'm saying? I think that's how it should go, dog. I don't, I don't trust me. I ain't no hater, dog. You get your money. I ain't oh, true. No. I was just saying that's But crazy. I think, nah, LeBron, LeBron deserve all that oh, shit. Yeah, he do. I mean, Fuck. see, he worth every penny. Man, that boy worth every damn penny. And and then some of that gave him 200 million over two years. But, I wouldn't have tripped. 100 million. That's hey, what it was. 100 hey, million in two years. Hey, Woo. some people come, people could do it. Some can't, dog. Yeah. Don't hate it. Oh, no. That's I why I say, it. no, you're right. Everybody ain't the same. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like these people, that's why I think athletes sometimes get it, get it misconstrued when they think that they can make moves the same as like somebody like that. You can't do that, homie. Like, first of all, you ain't put in that work like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we see them numbers like that, and I watch this thing on Kobe, bro. You you know, you you got you you mumbled out today. I'm watching Kobe, and it's so crazy. Come out the same shit he was saying, 
I've heard, I heard it my ninth grade <laughs> year from my basketball coach, the great Raymond Benneby. Shout out to Coach Benneby, man. Dog, Kobe was like, and he was a proponent for getting up early. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Kobe was like, all right, so you're going to get up at 10 o'clock, work out for two hours, 12 o'clock. Now you're going to take a break. You're going to get you uh, something to eat, lay down and chill, and you're going to get back up at 6 o'clock, go work out for another two hours, 6 to 8, you don't work out two hours, and now you go home, you eat, you sleep, wake up, and do it all over again. That boy say, I'm going to get up at 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. I'm going to work out from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., right? Yeah. I'm going to eat, sleep. Get up again at 11 a.m., yeah. eat, sleep, get up again at 4 a.m., eat, sleep, get up again at 6 to 8, right? Eat, sleep, get up, and I'm going to do it all over again. Then he was like, okay, I done did it how many times? You done did it how many times, right? Right? There ain't no great separation, right? That's, you, I done did it four, you done did it two. Ain't no great separation. But over the course of years... Me doing the same thing and you doing the same thing. How great is that separation now? Oh, yeah. You feel me? You like, how great is that separation now? Now it ain't two. Now it's eight. Now it's 16. Now it's 32. Now you know what? It don't matter what you do in the off season, dog. It don't matter what you work on. I'm, 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 I'm oh, it's over. You game. can't never catch me. You can't never, ever catch me and work as hard as me. You know what I'm saying? Never. Shout out to great Kobe Bean Bryant, man. Mamba life, man. I adapt that, man. For real. So I'm getting you getting up early. Yeah, you getting up early to get it. That that's that's championship attitude, bro. You know what I'm saying? MJ and Kobe. That's two just straight dogs. And like they the same people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 like the same people. What we was talking about before I got off on my uh my Kobe on his rant. rant. <laughs> My I like LeBron, it. but I was finna say we talk about Bronny too, but they were saying how um Penny Hardaway and the Memphis Tigers looking to recruit Bronny. I think that'd be good for him. Play with Penny. Play for Penny. Why? They put out a list the other day. Who? They like they just put out a list of Who all the is schools. They? Like ESPN, I wanna say put out a list. Oh, was, all the schools he's going he's all the considering. Schools, yeah, that he was considering. It was like uh Michigan. I don't, I, I don't think Ohio State was in there, but it was Michigan. Ohio State basketball, they good. Yeah, I know. It's, um, yeah, you got it. I know you got it. UCLA, USC, Michigan, Ohio State, and Oregon. But they were saying that LeBron kind of shut down the Oregon, Oregon rumors. Thing, yeah. He was like, he's not going they to Oregon. They were saying Oregon was the leader, or he was planning to take a visit to Oregon. But I think, I mean, he should go to a bigger school than Memphis, but I think that it would be good for him to learn from Penny Hardaway. If he went to Memphis... Wow. Some dogs. Listen, that's uh, the boy going to go wherever is best yeah, for him. You know that. Wherever he want, really. He's going to go wherever the plan is put in place for him to succeed. You know, when you are uh, in that level, it's not a – shit don't happen by chance. You know what I mean? Ain't no just we're going to choose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He gonna like, choose us. Yeah, like who does it benefit more at this point? But he could go to a better school than any of these schools he's looking at. These what, what, what better school? Duke. To Kentucky. who? That's what he you go say. To like Duke. He that's go what to you Gonzaga. say. Coach, Coach that's Coach what K you done. say. That's like a lot of people with Jordan Howard, Tennessee. Kentucky. A lot of people say, oh, he could have went somewhere better. Matthews. Tennessee. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. You said Jordan Howard. Oh my bad, Jordan Matthews. <laughs> um, he go to Kentucky. He going to Tennessee. A lot of people, oh, he go to Tennessee, he go to Alabama, he go to LSU, he go. Nigga, that's the best place for him. Yeah, you know what you know what I mean? That's the same thing going to be with Bronny. Wherever the best place for him that they select. But this is this the thing, though, dog. Like, like I started before, who does it benefit? It benefits the school more. That's what I'm school, saying. LeBron, sir. That's what I'm saying. He can literally go to the HBCU. He's still finna get picked up. It the benefit. I mean, they could do whatever they want. I heard rumors of him going to other leagues, Australia, all kind of stuff like that. There. So I mean, that's why I say whatever is the best fit for him that they decide to do is what they're going to do. But I mean, I anybody. I think it benefits anybody to go to college. I think it benefits, especially a kid like 
LeBron, son, I mean, and LeBron didn't go to college, so I'm sure he he probably wants, wants to his go. son to experience that. I'm sure that's something that LeBron, you know what I'm saying, want, would like to have yeah. experienced, even though he's, you know, done so many great things, but I'm sure that's one of the things that he would, would have liked to even experience. I'm sure he wants his son to have that opportunity. Well, whoever gets him is lucky, bro. Like, not just because he's a, I mean, he's a fantastic basketball player, but not just that, you're getting a name. You're getting a name. Lower it. Man, you could tell me that. What you doing all them hand signals for? You could be like, man, move that damn mic, bro. Yeah. That, you know, you can hear me better now. Can no, you hear me now? just covering your face. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's not cover that up. That's a masterpiece. Bend it down. No, I won't break. The thing, the thing's slumping, dog. You gotta, you gotta. Cause no, Jordan be sitting here. Like doing all yeah, that. you gotta. Jordan. So Jordan be doing, he be sitting here playing with these little knobs. The, oh, these right here? You gotta yeah. push the on. And nah, man, I, I need to get a wireless mic, dog. Oh, you want just the wireless thing? Yeah, just put the shit in my ear. I just walk. I could just move. What you want to move around? What you want? To nah, now nah, I want to move around. But I need the shit in my ear instead of all of this. Yeah, Hell, what else we got? LSU women's basketball just released. Kimoki. Kimoki recruited her. Tail. That's my dog. Ooh. Recruited her tail. I remember going to her camps as a kid. Kimoki can recruit. Kimoki can. She recruited you. <laughs> no, I wish. Mm. But I went to some of her camps when I was a kid. She's a great So girl. who she got? Who she done recruited? I already know about them two gangsters. Uh, what's her name? Flaje. Flaje. Well, yeah, Flaje, she's a freshman coming in. She recruited the number one transfer. Um, Juco. Juco? No, from Maryland. Who? What's her name? Let me uh, look. Because uh, CJ, uh, uh, Angel Reese. Angel Reese, yeah. Angel she's Reese. a transfer from Maryland? Then she bringing back Alexis Morris, a doll. Yeah, she a doll. A doll. She a doll. She, she still got, um, I don't think I she got Jalen Cherry no more. She, she don't need her. She got them. <laughs> <laughs> she don't Hannah need her. She hey, don't need her. <laughs> she don't need her. She got them, them freshmen? Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, dude. Then you know it ain't but, what, five or six women's basketball programs. That's really at hey, the top, LSU so gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Let me tell you if something. LSU beat South Carolina this year in oh, in boy. regular season. If they beat they South going Carolina, all the way. If they beat South Carolina, LSU can go elite eight. Dog, Kim Mulkey, shout out to Kim Mulkey. Dog, Kim Mulkey has like, she's like superwoman since she got here, dog. Had I'm talking about since she got here. First, she started out with picking up Paul Maneri, just scoop his little behind up and squeeze him right quick. Showed us how strong she was. Did y'all see that? Y'all yeah. remember she picked that boy up? Mm -hmm. Then she went out and recruited all these monsters. Dogs. For real. Then last year they competed they behind off. They did good. They the season they competed before, her behind. They the behind season before off. it was like nine and thirteen. So this is Kim Mokey's third year? No, this is her second, second year. year. Second year. Yeah, last year was her first year. That's the crazy it seemed part. Like that was she two changed years. the whole thing I around. It, Damn, it, it felt like, like two years because it was just such a quick turnaround. They was Damn. nine and thirteen. Last year they would like double. They day. won more conference games than they yeah, won last year. Yeah. Like, and just like the, just you know what? Just the, the 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 whole um um just swag though change, you know what I mean? The whole everything with the, with the how they play. basketball school now. Like before women's basketball, yeah, yeah we had some stuff like that, but now like it's a powerhouse. It's a South Carolina. No, we ain't a, no, no, no. It, it is. No, it's, it's damn right not. I wouldn't say that. Let me let it's me ask a question. You went a little too damn high now. South I Carolina say South either. Carolina. I don't let's put some respect on on, <laughs> on, on, on on South Carolina but head let's coach. Put some respect. Now. I'm respecting. I'm respecting. We Don ain't won nothing. I'm respecting. We haven't won anything. We haven't won nothing. The proof is in the pudding. We haven't won anything. What have we won? What has South Carolina won? We gonna look back. What has, no, what has South Carolina won? And I say that. Bring them. What has LSU? We're not saying that LSU. We're saying LSU's trending fast in yeah. the right direction. But let's not. Yeah, let's not. Is. Let's not. You just said, and you know why? Also, because because what you just said earlier, you said Man. if we beat South Carolina, that lets you know we ain't arrived there yet. <laughs> but we we up next. We're there. We're we getting there. 
But you gotta put some respect on South Carolina. Don't, well, don't just don't just disrespect South Carolina oh, no. and Don Staley do like that though. Oh never, I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying but, they uh, are, they they run in the SEC right now. If we could have brought Kayla Pointer back this year, we beating everybody. Her and Alexis Morris. I ain't trying to hear all years. that. If if we talking about what's that now? The proof's still in the pudding. We, we trending. <laughs> we trending in the right direction. But let's not. St- you put us up there with UConn <laughs> South and South Carolina, man. Hey, come on, Jay. We going that way. We gonna get there. But we're not there right now. I wouldn't right say she's gonna have a Geno Ariema type of legacy, but she it may. can be. It can be one of those Don Staley types. She may. She may. But she's not there yet. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. But the way Kim Mulkey is. Recruiting and coaching I agree. And stuff like that. And she's her, not there yet. We ain't want shit. And her influence, she could be like a. But we ain't want. Summit. She could. She and has then, a lot and of then potential. All her ex- experience at Baylor, and then I now, agree. She could be a Pat Summit. I be agree. The she could be a Don Staley. I agree. I agree. I totally agree with all that. But she ain't there yet. She close. It's not crowd. No, how close is she? We ain't won nothing. We just gonna. We gonna. What if we see. won? We wait and see. She's been here one year and did but a fantastic it, job. I told y'all, I love Kim Moki. I love Kim Moki. She's a great, 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 fantastic coach. I love her as a coach. Fantastic coach, fantastic person. Met everything. She's a great person. But they haven't won anything yet, man. And you're judged in this league as a coach. And she'll come and tell you that. You judge by winning, period. You're not, potential gets you so far. Potential gets you that check. Potential gets you that money. Potential gets you that. But after that, you got to win. So she's trending in the right direction, but she has to get that money. You know what I'm saying? She has to uh, win. She got to win. She got to win. She definitely got to win. That's true. She got to win. We got that one. Ron, what you added on there? That was the oh, last one uh, we had. Kenny, Kenny Galladay. Hold up. Let me find it. Let me find the Twitter. Because they was doing drills and, like, Third team, no, like the fourth string wide receiver was going harder in drills than he was, and Kenny Galladay was like, he the one making all the money. Hold up, finna send it. I found it. I'm finna put him in the dust. What? I got it. All right, man. Oh, Wondell Robinson. Who? Tough. Not that boy from Kentucky. Yeah, he was giving more effort in practice than Kenny Galladay, and Kenny Galladay, the number one wide receiver. It's like what you was talking about earlier, like. Every position got to be a competition. Or yeah. Somebody else, the main guy, yeah. get too comfortable in. Yeah, like. He definitely got too comfortable. Who? Kenny Galladay and Wandale Robinson. Well, I don't know. You got the highlights? Where they at? Yeah. For the Giants? Galladay at the bottom of the dude at the top. That boy quick yeah. now. He just going half-ass. Who? Bottom? Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, bottom. And he's supposed to be the wide receiver one. Like, he the one making the most money. Yeah, but, you know, that's that's what separates you from yellow jacket guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you see guys get the bread all the time. And I don't know if that's the case with the boy, but you see guys get the bread all the time and then they uh, fizzle out or not work as hard. You know what I mean? Don't have the same drive. I don't know if that's the case with dude. He may be having a bad day. He may be... Something may be tweaked, something may be hurt. I don't know what it is, but if that's the case and he is half ass, that's a half ass effort. And he is going that half ass. And I also know, bro, like training camp, <sighs> vets don't like training camp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's also that. You know what I mean? It's also that. I've, there's the one thing I've learned, and I tell my kids this all the time, not my, my biologicals, but my kids that I train. Don't watch pros. Mm-mm. You can't watch pros. You know what I mean? Dead. Like, especially, uh, now you can watch them train. Because in the offseason, when them boys train, them boys train. Yeah. But don't watch them for their habits. You know what I mean? Especially not quarterback. Don't watch them for their habits. They're doing things that you can't teach. They're doing, you know, they're pros now. So don't watch them for, you know, how they're going to do this, how they're going to do that. Watch them for the ones. And there's only certain ones you can watch that do it right all the time. You know what I mean? You can't, I tell them, the worst person for you to watch for technique and stuff like that is to watch pro athletes. You know, college, yes, because you're still being taught. You're still learning. You're still receptive from your coaching. You're still taking that good coaching. Once you get to the pros, man, coach tell you some shit, you be like, all right, coach. Anyway. Go back, yeah, right, <laughs> go back and do. Because how you going to tell, like, a, a pro bowler, you know what I mean? I've been in the league eight years, six-time pro bowl, six-time all pro. Hey, man, 
do that shit this way. You know what I'm saying? And especially when you go to a new team or you get a new coach. Yeah. Hey, man, I need you to do it this way. Not doing that. Who are you talking to? <laughs> and then he getting $20 million a year. Who are you talking to? You know what I'm saying? What have we got? That's really all unless you want to go back to LSU football. Yeah, we're going to go to LSU football before we wrap this thing up. If we're going to take a break and come back. But look, the biggest thing uh, I want to get, like I tell the fans, mm. the biggest thing is that I want to get to the fans this year for LSU football. And we're going to go real in depth. As soon as we get closer, we're going to have, since everyone can't go to practice, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to go out there. We're going to go out there and get it going. But look, the biggest thing that I, I, I think that we should understand about going into this year, right? I'm going to just lay it out. Going into this year, LSU football season, right? You have a game off top against Florida State that's going to let you know immediately not how your season's going to go, but what kind of competitors and what kind of coaches you have, right? Because they're going to come a point during that football game where adjustments are going to have to be made. There's going to come a point in that football game where players are going to have to make plays. And I, and honestly, especially defensively, when you start talking about the secondary and get away from the front seven, that is where the game starts to be played for me. That, to me, is where the game starts to be played. We talk about these six, these, the rotation, and we can interchangeable. I want to see it. Let's see the interchangeable parts in this secondary. Where is that? Right? Let's see the interchangeable parts because, oh, Lord. Booty? Mm -hmm. BT? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And this is going against our secondary, correct? Yeah, that's Bernard Converse right. right there, 24. Right. That's with sticky covers uh, too. Right. Like every that's going make a play on the ball. Every play could have got called to hold it on the defense right there. And every, every play, way. honestly. Every play they this, caught the ball too. They this this the other thing you see about it. Every play, it was an opportunity for one of them to make a play, but who made the play? The wide receiver. Exactly. Every time. And I know we seeing clips and cut ups and stuff like that. But at the same time, dude. It's one on one. It's one on one. It's him versus you. It's one on one, and, and and the other thing about it is, dude, that's an attitude. Yeah, that's an attitude. One on one is all the attitude. It's, it's that's what I'm saying. It's all attitude. That's why I love seven on sevens. It's one on ones when you get ready and strap it up. You already know when they blow the whistle and call one on everybody hooping and hollering, everybody getting out of there because it's time for you to not compete against the best of the best. Cats pushing each other out of the way. Now nah, I got Kayshawn. Now nah, I got him. I want to go against him. Why you ain't you know go what I'm saying? Again. Yeah. I'm out there like, nah, man, you step. Boy, I used to tell him all the time, boy, you step to the back. I don't want to throw with you. Come on up here, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, let me who get you know going to get that here. work? Yeah. yeah. So for them to sit up there for the DB, dog, that's why I keep saying this, bro, like with these defensive backs. I'm going to put that pressure on. I'm going to put that pressure on them boys because that's what it's going to come down to. This is DBU, so to speak, right? With mm. DBU. Besides my boy Jay Ward, Major. I need to see him. I ain't seen him. I see y'all. I come from that I'm school. Not, you gotta yo, show you gotta me show, though. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it. I, I de you know, I got love for Major. That's my guy. I got love for all them boys. I want to see. I gotta see it though. You gotta show me, dog. You gotta show me. I don't care about your test results. I don't care how high you can jump. I don't care about none of that shit. I want to see what you do. When them lights come on and you scrap that thing up. Cause you're a foot cause you're a college athlete, but you're a football player. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a ball player. That's what you get when the lights come on, you get paid to play ball. And I yeah, now. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna see that's why I'm so dude. You gotta know I'm anxious to see the quarterbacks and I'm anxious to see the secondary. I know what I'm gonna get out of Jack. I know what I'm gonna get out of a uh, uh, big alley gay and the boys. I'm anxious to see the linebackers too. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to see the new running back, Big Noah. I'm I'm very anxious to see him. You know what I'm saying? The big transfer from Penn State. Uh, I, I, I want to see. I'm, I, and I'm anxious to see the court. I'm anxious to see the offensive line to see how they pair that thing together and put those guys together, man. Because if those guys, you gotta stay. Remember a couple years ago, we were so excited about. The new recruiting class for the offensive line, and we ain't seen none of them motherfuckers materialize, dog. No, no. We ain't seen none of them bust out yet. You know what I'm saying, Mister Pancake ain't paying out. 
what I'm saying? We we ain't seen none of them guys paying paying out yet. So I'm anxious to see how Brian Kelly and those guys have put this offensive line together, bro. And and see, and you know what else I'm trying to see? You talk about uh Taylor, tight end. I'm anxious to see which one of these young guys establish themselves and 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 and, and make a name for themselves either early or late in the season. That's what I'm wanting to see, bro. That's what I want. We know what BJ gonna bring to the table. We like, you know what group I'm more confident in? The fucking D line. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's I think that's the group bringing back the most people and the most depth. Right? The D line. Them boys raw. All of them. Big Mason Smith. BJ. Big Jaqueline Roy. Come on. The starting the starting defensive line, man, they should shut shit down. For real. We're going to take a quick little break, man. We're going to be back to wrap this thing up on. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Where my dog's at? We'll be back. The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys. Because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest? Whoever picks this it's up It's an even where, playing field. Yeah, 100%. Even playing field, because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had, what, four different coordinators in four years? Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer, by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background, this is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's you just know, different verbiage. Curl, flat is curl, flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss, Meyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, it's legs. Without a doubt, it's confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going to, because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. So, see, if 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 he's going to come out and do that every time, well, now, and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo, you know, that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional, yeah, you know what I mean, professional, uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit, it was... You know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other. That type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit. You know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you. Could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag, now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it, keep keep, keep all that in-house? And Hot topics, dog. How you feeling? Man? Hot topics. Let's get into that right now. What we talking about right now is, you know, myself, I played for uh, Coach Jimbo Fisher and I also played for Coach Nick Saban um, at the hot twilight of my years at LSU, uh, transferring from Coach Jerry DiNardo. And I, I've spoken about this a couple times. We got to turn the air up down in here, though. Damn. Um, I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, 
But the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for so for for Coach Saban to excuse me to go into the 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 kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the the name calling part. I think somebody might have slipped slipped him a Mickey or or, or slipped him something uh, before he before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and and and, and some. Uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parody and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parody is happening. You know what I mean? Parody is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack, and now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at, that, at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checks books and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle and it's and it's and it's to move the needle in his direction in his favor. So I don't know if what his motive was. I would love for him to let us know what that was, or to come out so we can find out. I don't know what his motive was, but his motive, but it, whatever his motive was, it was definitely something that he planned, in my opinion, just from playing for him and, not, and knowing him as a, as a per, as you know friends. Do you suffer from chronic dehydration? Are you looking to improve your athletic performance and you need to get over and see our friends over at GoFlow IV? They're located on Jefferson Highway. Easy to find them online at geauxflowiv.com. Make sure and use the promo code Jordy Collada Show. If you do, they'll take 15% off of your initial visit. Check them out online, geauxflowiv.com. In a wreck. Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done. Back at it. Shout out to David Richards Builders, man. Fletcher Painting. Cypress Hemp. All our great sponsors. I still ain't met my guy Fletcher. I still ain't met him. Gotta come in, man. So, we're gonna wrap this thing up here shortly, but predict Thursday. <laughs> Why are you laughing, dog? Prediction Thursday. Let me look at the schedule. Look at the schedule, dog. Oh. Can we put the schedule up? Yeah. This, can we put it? Put it up. Put up the. Put up the. Hey, listen. Put up the LSU schedule. LSU schedule. My, I think my fishing trip just got canceled. Because of rain. Y'all fish? I've been bit. before. A bit. Well, she's fish, huh? Huh? 
Huh? You fish? Yeah, not not like that. Op, I, I know you I fish. You from the country. I ain't from the country too. Bayou, 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 we both from the Bayou. <laughs> Bayou, Bayou yeah, you, you seem like you most city fired. Nah, Bayou that boy tish. real. That boy really out that out that opera loose. Boop, boop. Nah, throw me back. Ooh. So, all right. right so look, flow. <laughs> <laughs> so LSU. Where's the schedule at? I'm trying to. I got Just search it up on LSU Sports yeah, but I'm trying to find it. It's taking so long just to get the scrap. We don't need no graphic. Just put the schedule up there so we can see. Thank you. Who uh they got? Well, we know they got Florida State. We got Florida what do you think, OP? Win or loss? Win. Florida State. Win? Win. So you think they start the season one and oh? I think they start season two and oh. Southern. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> so you think they beat Florida State? And they beat, what do you think the Florida State score is? All right, so it really depends on who the quarterback, but like Stewie said. Well, yeah. Like Stewie said, I really predict this to like do a two quarterback type of thing. Mm-hmm. But probably like maybe like 30 to like 23, something like 30, that. 30, 23? 30 to 20, something like that. 30, 23. So I'm thinking. Jay, who win? LSU, Florida State. LSU. Score. I agree with OP. Stop. You gonna take OP score? She gonna that's, take no, that's, no, no, no. That's what I was thinking anyway. I was like, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be nothing crazy. You I don't feel like we're gonna blow them Not, not exactly that, but it's it's in that same ballpark. So I might as well just go with that. Well, I guess that happens, right? Mm-hmm. Sound good. What anyway. about what you got, Stu? I think we're gonna score more than thirty, cause cause I I I've been watching a little Florida State too. They got some problems on the offensive line, and our strength is the defensive line. So if we could get to their quarterback enough, oh, well. hold on, it might get ugly. Who Brett get to? If we could get to Florida State's quarterback, oh yeah. Oh, you finna say Brett Favre, dog? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She coming to LSU for what? You, what, what sport? I, volleyball. Oh, but yeah, if we could get to their quarterback and create pressure early What's and, and get our DBs comfortable, Braley? that'd be good. Braley I don't know how to say it. Brayley Favre signs with LSU Beach Volleyball. Mm. So, as Brett Favre's daughter, mm-hmm. is she good? No oh, shit, who her daddy is? Cause she is she gonna bring us in and she got to because beach volleyball they they were well, yeah. yeah. I, they be, serious, I, huh? some of I see they built the new. You went to the game. I, I see they built the new complex. Oh yeah, so she must be pretty good. Hold on, both indoor and beach for the Golden Eagles. I don't say nothing about no nothing. Oh, but she no playing indoor and now. uh beach. If you playing indoor and beach, you pretty good because not all the girls that play indoor playing beach. I don't know nothing about volleyball, so. I do. I know about volleyball. My and little girl volleyball. Yeah. I've been on volleyball all week. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I Man, love it, dog. Gyms. I love it, though. I ain't even know you could get crunk like that for volleyball. Oh, though. no, they be turned down. I, I, I've been to a couple of volleyball games, but it, I just never like. Do they? I don't Vi- know too much we know why you was there. <laughs> Whoa. What? Volleyball is dope. Why you was there? there? You know what's in the volleyball gym? I what, went to volleyball? high school. I went to a high school volleyball jamboree. That's the only volleyball game I've ever been to. You went to a high school? That was when I was in high school, I'm saying. Oh, of course. Yeah, you know, it was, it was Friday night. It was Thursday night before the jamboree. Everybody got their jerseys on. Listen, I you know understand. You know how it goes. I get it. You know, Of I course you now. went to a high school volleyball jamboree. I was in that thing. If I was in high school, I'd have went to a high school volleyball jamboree too. Yeah. It was nice in night. high school. You know, play shit you do. Start. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> like they say, bro, it's playing shit you do. It's undefeated. Undefeated. Yeah. But I think we're going to beat Florida State 40, 42. I just spat 42 that line 28. on my head, dog. 42 yeah. to 28? Really? We're going to get a, get a, first look, season? We're gonna get a defensive score. We're going to fuck them up. We're going to get it. It's going to be a strip sack. BJ gonna pick that thing out, running back. We're gonna get a defensive score. Then we're gonna just turn them over a lot. We're gonna turn them over about three or four times. I can I, see that. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be somewhere around 27, 17, something like something that. Like little, that. Little, little score. Yeah, I don't think the defense, I don't think I, I'm with y'all. Defense with, ain't gonna give up. I much. think the front seven, 
Our front seven, especially, especially with that linebacker I just seen. Lord Jesus Christ. Harold Number Perkins. 11. Perk 10. 10. 10. Yeah. Harold Perkins. Perkins. Monster. Perk 10. Harold Perkins, my new favorite linebacker. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Harold <laughs> Perkins, <laughs> my new favorite linebacker. I'm about to be wearing 10. I'm telling you. Y'all see perk. me with that 10. Big on, Perk, on, baby. Perk 10. Number 10. Look out for him. That boy's a monster. Native of New Orleans. We went and got him out of Texas. Brought him back home. Monster. The clips that West just showed me. Lord, have mercy. The boy, I thought that boy uh, four five was fast. This boy here is smooth and fast. He just. who, And he's a lot taller. Mm -hmm. That too. So we'll see. So, okay. So you got LSU at first one. I'm going to tell you, I think it's, I, I told you, I think it's going to be that. Now. You put the schedule up yet? You still yeah, ain't finding the damn the schedule. schedule. But I don't have a graphic of the schedule. You don't All right. Who they name it? Name them. All right. So Florida State, Southern. Mississippi State. Mississippi State. New Mexico. New Mexico. Auburn. Tennessee. Florida. At Florida. At Ole Miss. Miss mm -hmm. Versus Bama. At Ar Arkansas. UAB and at A&M. What's the record? Well, What's the final record you think? I'm going to go down and tell you what games I think they're going to win. Uh, Auburn is a throw up for me right now. Tennessee is, too. Yeah. Auburn, Tennessee, and Florida, Florida too. <laughs> really Ole Miss and Alabama. I mean, all these guys. a throw up? What do you mean a throw like, up? Like, it can go either way. Like, well, see, really? Auburn, well, actually, you know what? Since Auburn got a new quarterback, I'm going to go with LSU. Like, Auburn, I don't, I don't trust TJ Finley, and I don't trust Calzada. Because he came from Texas A&M. And you obviously see he couldn't beat LSU with what he had at A&M. Right. He definitely ain't beating him with what he got at Auburn. Because all they could really do is run the ball. It's going to be hard for LSU Auburn. I don't Florida. know what skill players they got other than that. Other than Tank Bigsby. That's well, it. Well, you know they're going to have something. That's the one thing you know. It's Auburn good. always brings something to the table. I mean, you know. But the games you know, if you look at that schedule, right, how many games are you saying are wins? There's probably only One, three two, of them on there that you would look and say, four. these are guaranteed wins. Uh, five. About five or six. Mm -hmm. Who are they? I would say. Southern. Florida State, Southern. Why would you say Florida State? That's not a guarantee. I wouldn't say. Actually, let me take that one back. Let me take that one back. What I mean by that is like, Obviously. you know that they're going to win. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. When you when you look at the yeah. Southern game and there's no shot, no at Southern, but you know they're gonna win. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking you. When you look at the schedule, which game do you say like it's an SEC dog? And take into consideration new coach, new offensive lineman, new defensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator, new quarterback, new everything. So take all that into consideration. New center. That's what I'm saying. Take all that into consideration when you, when you, you know what I'm saying? Like, because Southern's a win. I think New Mexico's a win, mm -hmm. right? I don't know what the other teams have, but the one thing I do know is this. They're all SEC teams or caliber teams of who's left. So if you go into Alabama, do you say we're winning that? If you go into A&M, do you say we're winning that? Do you go into Ole Miss? You know, all the teams that we have a question marks about are ranked in the top 25. Right. Tennessee's ranked. Ole Miss is ranked. Alabama's ranked. Rank. Huh? Tennessee's, Tennessee's like 16th. I saw a poll where Tennessee was 16th. They got different polls. I know, they but I'm just the, saying. Yeah, they, if if somebody's consider you enough for you to rank you 16th in a poll, and Tennessee was coming on at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. So it's not like these teams are cupcakes is what I'm saying. You know? I don't Tennessee know. Tennessee not ranked. Just not a, in the top 25? Just AP poll. Yeah, well, that may be that poll, but I saw another thing with Tennessee was ranked 16th, Ole Miss was like 19th or something like that. But all the teams that LSU was facing, most of them were ranked teams. The LSU was not. So that's the other thing I'm trying to say. It's probably less than that guaranteed wins because even Mississippi State. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All, all of the SEC teams. Or, or that's what I'm saying. They all gonna come. Any compete. game can be an upset. Any I totally, team. and it could go the same way for LSU. LSU yeah. could beat any of them guys if they show up. And you know what I'm saying? Like yes, we ain't got them at 25. Okay, but what my point is, it don't matter if it's 25, whatever. My point is, if it's an SEC caliber team, you gotta play. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta come in, you gotta do, you gotta play. And all these teams that we talking about with their coaches, you are gonna go in the old, you gonna play Ole Miss and gotta go in against that boy. 
offensively, uh, Kiffin. And, you know, you know what you're going up against. So, for me, the FSU game is huge. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Just as term as what are we going to look like? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Who are we? Who are we? You know, or, or, or who are we going to be? be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm definitely look forward to seeing how that shapes out. And I give Coach Kelly and that whole staff, man, um, all the mulligans and all the, all the, no, I ain't getting all no damn mulligans. I give them one shot, you know what I mean? Because we can't be getting laughed at on game day no more. Bro. Uh, that shit That's is embarrassing. That shit is embarrassing just as a, like a regular fan, as a spectator. So I know That's how I feel when you when you inside the building and it's like, damn, like we, or like you, the morning of the game, you watching fucking game day and they just, Cooking. LSU you come up there and they just laughing. Like you getting clowned. The whole clowned. group laughing. It's like <laughs> they cooking us bad right now on TV, on national TV, not just Louisiana people. Seeing Everywhere. It, the whole world seeing us get cooked. So it's like we got to change that identity. How embarrassing! And as if I was on a team last year, and I'm coming back this year, I'm thinking like, look, what we gonna do? Y'all, not get like cooked. we feel how we felt last year. We can't have that again. We went to California and got completely embarrassed. Oh. Come back out here and get completely embarrassed the whole season, the last two seasons. We can't let we can't let that happen. It can't be no. It can't be. They, they gotta. It can't go down again. Well, you know, and 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 you, I I personally think that you know. When you look at the message that was put in front of the Walker Howards and the guys that stay home as far as like recruiting that came in with Brian Kelly, part of the plan that put in for them was you guys are going to start the uh, new era of LSU football with Brian Kelly, right? And so those guys have to really buy into that. Yeah. They really got to buy into it and say, you know what, we can change the trajectory of LSU football and continue it going the right way. Or we could fucking have it go downhill. You know, so if they take ownership and the coaches take it the same way, it should be all right. We should be all right. This year, I'm not looking for us to make too much noise. I think we're going to be better than a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think we're going to be better than a lot of people think because you're going to have guys out there competing. And guys nowadays, bro, especially on the defensive side, Cats already have a mindset, man. We competing for our school, but we competing for this check too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that money is always a great motivator for these, the Jaqueline Roy's and the BJ's and the uh, 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 all these guys. That's that's you know, especially defensive guys and, and the big time wide receivers that are out there trying to improve their stock. You feel me? So they everybody got a lot to play for. Everybody coaches got a lot to coach for. It's a new era of LSU football with Brian Kelly. Uh, 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 new defensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator, new every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? New president all across the board. You know what I mean? So we'll see, bro. We'll see. I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them this season as, how many games we got? 12? 12 games. 12 games. I'm going to say we go Give, give me a floor and give me a ceiling. The, the floor is like seven and five. What's the ceiling? The floor is seven and five. The ceiling is nine three. Ten and two nine to me. Is, nine is tough, dog. Ten and two to me. Ten and but two. But look is at the schedule. I'm, look, I'm looking at because what you because what you're saying is what you're saying is they're gonna beat. Two games, two teams that they not expected to beat. Right, and that might be the case. But this whole schedule, they could beat anybody on the schedule. You don't know that. You well, ain't seen them play. Nah, you haven't. But you ain't seen them play. That's what I'm saying. Like you ain't seen them play. You can't say that. Cause, cause then I'm gonna ask you this: What are you basing that off of? But, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm basing it off yeah. of, like I'm looking at these games right now. I'm gonna have to see first. I'm looking at these games right now. Like you got Florida State; they have a returner at quarterback, but they have offensive line issues. So if you could get to him early, you could you could sort some things out on your end of the quarterback issue. If you could flip get that your, same thing right. you just said around on LSU. Right, exactly. I understand. We got quarterback issues. I understand. You get to him early, we can route a new quarterback. I understand. But, right. But I feel like we have the better defense in this. Okay. So I'm I'm coming from our perspective, not okay. theirs. I don't, and then okay. you look at Southern. Southern, that's a, I feel like that's a win. Okay. New, uh, Mississippi State. Mississippi State, three-year quarterback, three-year starter at quarterback. Uh, you know the system. 
They got a strange system on defense. They run a three three stack. It's it's strange. They got guys coming from Mississippi everywhere. State is going to be the hardest team, one of the hardest teams for LSU to prepare for. Mm-hmm. And also the other thing that you got to take into consideration. I understand that we have these guys that have coached in these SEC schools before, but we also have new coordinator, new offensive guys to this team. Then Brock, he's coming from Cincinnati. Yeah. Right? And so all of them being familiar to what you're up against, like if it was just, this is like for me, if it was just put them on the field and play, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. cool. But it's all the other factors yeah. that go into wow, how you can win or lose a football game. Mm-hmm. So with us being new, that's what gives me, like for me to have kind of re- a little reluctancy to say, okay, you know, for me personally, but like Mississippi State to me is they make me nervous. Yeah, right. you go, you, you right. For me, it's like and with, as a defensive player, you go out there and they throw the ball sixty times a game. Right, you running after a dude for sixty plays, and that's just a cornerback. You got to think about the D line and they running out there. Got to run sixty plays. Might be thirty for them, but I mean, thirty plays is a lot for a guy. You talking about Mason yeah, Smith, especially when, especially when you got to run sideline to sideline, right? Yeah, no and, doubt. And I mean, that's just that's that's in itself, and then you factor in the runs that they throw in, and that's and just, just the just pounding and wear and tear those guys leaning on you, right? You know what I mean? Three hundred pounders pushing you and pulling you on the whole time. Yeah. So for me, Ole Miss, excuse me, Mississippi State could go either way, mm-hmm. depending on who show up. Uh, who else we got? New, New Mexico. Mexico, I think that's that's. We'll right. win that. Uh-huh. At we'll, Auburn, at Auburn scares me because it's at Auburn. That and I mean, that's how I feel about Florida. At, at Florida, that's but what I'm at, trying to tell. It's not like Florida. I'm. I, I don't know. I'm, Florida's worse than Auburn, dude. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like we have a better chance against Florida because they they worse than Auburn, and I I don't have too much stock in. Now the I'm talking situation. about worse than New Auburn coach. as far as like. Atmosphere. The atmosphere. Oh, the atmosphere oh, yeah. in Florida it's, it's is swamp. a monster. Oh, yeah, the the swamp, swamp is, is stupid. Right. And the reason it's stupid is because the fields here and the it's fucking right. hedges are right there. Right there. Yeah. The people can literally spit on you. Damn. That's how Florida is. The hedges, dog, Florida is terrible. <laughs> For real. I hate Florida. <laughs> Me too. I, I, I hate Florida more than Bama. I hate Florida, yeah. bro. But uh, So, okay, so Mississippi State, toss up. Toss up. Uh, Auburn, New Mexico, yeah, New Auburn, Mexico, they up. win. Auburn, toss up. And then you go Tennessee over here, toss up. That's a toss. I up. know it's a toss up, but I think Tennessee you at home, so it's favorable. Yeah, yeah. it's still a toss up though. You they, can't just say we're. Can you say we're gonna win it? No, it's gonna be hard what, to, for Tennessee. Well, I don't know that yet, but once I see, it might be hard for Tennessee to beat us at home. Hundred yeah. percent. And I, I, I would say LSU will win that. Yeah, I don't think Tennessee. Has what we have in terms of like everywhere. They got a they got a returner at quarterback. Tennessee has a good football. They team. got a good football. T- I know that. That's what I'm saying. But they Tennessee don't have, has a good football. They don't team. have. They we don't know it. all what Tennessee has, but this is one thing I do know. Tennessee came on like a motherfucker last year. They recruited really, really well last year, and they recruited really, really well again going into this year. And they got some momentum with their quarterback, and they got some. They got two really good wide receivers, mm-hmm. and they got a good DB, and they got a. A defensive end that gets some pressure, mm-hmm. so they're a good football team. Yeah. I can't like I would choose I would pick LSU to win that at home uh-huh. because it's home. If it was yeah. in Tennessee, right? Yeah, I would be nervous. Hey. Right, I agree. I agree. Uh-huh. So I take LSU over Tennessee with not with a lot of confidence though. Yeah, you taking it though. I'm taking I, it though. I, I yes, guess. yes, yes. And then you go to Florida, which is I like I said I have my reservations about Florida. <coughs> <clears throat> they had issues on defense last year. Fired the defensive coordinator. They got a new coach. It's, it's, it's this is the one news. thing. This is the one thing about Florida. I love their coach. Yeah, me too. I love their coach, mm. and I know they coach, and I know what he brings, and I know their staff. They have great staff. Yeah, they got a great staff. <laughs> we like, know that. <laughs> and the one, the other thing. It's not going to be a lack of athletes. Mm-mm. Ever. University right? of Florida. That's what I'm saying. We had the crib, baby. We had the yeah. crib. So, What's so that? what are you saying about that? And it's at Florida. Yeah. Uh, now, this is the other thing. You take, a lot of people get intimidated by that swamp, baby. Yeah. 
Got a lot of guys going in there for the first time. You know? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot of bodies going So, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say we lose that game, but uh, that's going to be one a toss up to me. Yeah, you know, and I, I don't know if I give Florida the edge because it's at home. Mm-hmm. I don't you, know. You kind of got to give it to them. Got to give it to that, them. That home field. Yeah. Uh, then you then you got Ole Miss at home. And Ole Miss. See, I'm Ole Miss scared me because Ole Miss scared the shit Ole out of me. Ole Miss scared the shit out of me because of Lane Kiffin. But 100%. I did. But I did watch their spring game. And they really haven't settled the quarterback situation that they have. I don't even care. But they do have Zach Evans. Let me ask you a question. Running back. Who the hell knew about the kid that just got drafted from Ole Miss? Matt Who the about, hell knew about knew Matt Corral? This is what I'm he saying. He was a big recruit. I, this is what I'm saying. You knew about him, but you didn't know what the hell Matt Corral was going to do as a freshman. No. The only reason I don't he mean like I, I don't mean like who. Listen, to what I'm saying. When he Matt Corral left out, he's a he left out last year. He was a red shirt junior. junior. Mm-hmm. When Matt Corral came into the SEC, he was a recruit. Matt Corral was heralded as a dual threat. Yeah. Matt Corral was only known for speed. Could not throw the football. Had no accuracy throwing the football. That's what I mean by who knew about him. I knew they knew he was a recruit. That ain't mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. I'm talking about who knew he was going to be what he turned out to be. And the only reason he turned out because of that was the boy you said, yeah, Kiffin. Man, Kiffin. That's the only reason, bro. Anywhere else Matt Corral would have went, he would not have developed that way. Right. Would not. I'm not saying anywhere else, but other places in the SEC, if it ain't places that have the, the have a quarterback coach such as Lane Kiffin. People say what the hell they want about Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin coach his ass off. Really. Lane Kiffin coach his behind off. And what he did with Matt, that's why I say like, yeah, I question it, but he always put his quarterbacks in positions to win. He always put him in position to be successful. You know what I mean? He's always got something going on. And the other thing I always questioned about him when we started talking about Ole Miss before is what kind of um, emphasis were they going to do defensively? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a defensive line. Right. So all. that's what I'm saying with them. It, it, it's, it's always can you outscore them mm-hmm. it's, or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Can you stay consistent offensively? To keep up with them, because at some point, because their defense suck. Yeah, you know what I mean. So or just make a make a mistake on offense. Do you think we have enough offensively at that point? At that point, we should be rolling a little bit, mm-hmm. hopefully. And the experience enough at the quarterback position, and not not just that, the familiar familiarization from our offensive coordinator at that time to be able to. Go back and forth with Ole Miss if we need to, cause our defense better. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you pointed out. Yeah, I think I think we got it. Like I think we should be at that point with the skill players that we have. Not, just, I'm not talking about the quarterback. Yeah, just, I'm talking about running back, receivers, tight ends. Not, not really tight ends, but receiver really. I think we could keep up in terms of just receiver. Like if they can't guard, I, if they can't match up one on one. They in trouble. They in trouble because we got They're three, four, five, six that they can could beat go. you one on one. They could go. So I think I think that that's what it was going to come down to. It's probably going to come down to the defense making a stop, and I think our defense can make. Well, that. I think the defense is going to have to. I think the defense have to take owners early in the season, mm-hmm. right? I think they really have to hold it down. Yeah, they they got to like set the tone. They got to set the, the tone. Season. They got to set the tone, especially for the offense. The offense catch up. They definitely do. Who else we got? Then you go to then you got Bama. So that's a loss. I, yeah, Bama Straight returned up. nine on loss. offense, nine on loss. defense. That's a loss. Then Unless, got, even if they injured, that's a loss. Yeah. Then you go to Arkansas. Arkansas. That's a toss Arkansas up. Arkansas is going to be a good team. This that's year. a toss they, up. They have a team. That's a toss up, almost to a loss. Mm-hmm. I know what Arkansas has coming. Back. Arkansas is a toss up, almost to a loss mm-hmm. for us because of. Everything they got coming back. They got experience on both sides of the ball coming back for Arkansas. And this, this is the other thing. Arkansas is looking at this year as a year for them to try to catapult themselves. Yeah. yeah. Arkansas is trying to get back to the Razorback running game as old, of old, baby. Mm-hmm. And, and Arkansas got some pretty good athletes, especially on the defensive side of the football this year. Yeah. We're going to see. Then you got UAB. So that's a toss up. We agree with that. Arkansas? Yeah, 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 uh, for sure. me, it's almost a loss, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. 
Then UAB you, win. You, UAB win, and then you go to Texas A&M. That could be a toss-up, too. I don't think that's a toss-up. I don't know. Mm-mm. I don't, I don't think know. that's a toss up. I think we, I think we own Texas A and M. I think that's a loss. I, look, bro, they couldn't beat us with what they had last year, and I think they got a better team this year. They Texas A and M is a loss. They do. But Texas A and M. By is that a time, loss. we should have it all. What you mean, Texas A and M gonna lose, or we gonna lose Texas A and M? We gonna lose Texas A and M. Maybe, know. maybe not. Mm. Once they finish putting in pieces, I have to see. I have to really. Yeah, just I see. gotta see the way Texas A and M play this year. Like I, I gotta see it. it because sometimes they come out and they they play well early, and then they get later in the season and they start to kind of dwindle, away. fall apart. They got things going on. What, what's really gonna be the test is October eighth, Alabama. That's always the test. Yeah, but I'm saying that's what's the, our test. I, I, Florida State. Florida State is test one. Right. Cause you, I mean, you got to coach your staff. Immediately after with Mississippi State, you got a the freshman thing, coach. The thing is, you got you got when you talk about Texas A and M and LSU, they're on two ends, different ends of the spectrum. Right. You know what I'm saying? Texas A and M could possibly have national championship aspirations, they whereas they LSU should. is we in rebuild aspirations. They shouldn't have it, but you know if they saying? do, I mean, hey, who? LSU. They shouldn't have what. I mean, they could have those aspirations, but they not what, this rebuild? year. Or, no, when you say national, national championship. Oh yeah, no, nah, LSU. We don't have that this year. I don't think they should. They, they play, shouldn't, but they if, play I mean, Miami if they do, week hey. three, Texas A and M. That's gonna be the first test. The Hurricanes. The Hurricanes. So, so you'll get to see Crystal Ball, new coach, good quarterback. Uh, it's at A and M. So, what week that is? Three. Week three. Yeah, that beat Miami. They got they got Arkansas week four. That's going to be the test. Yeah, that's the test. Yep. That's the test. Yeah. Arkansas is the test. Yeah. That's the test. Mm-hmm. Fuck Miami. Arkansas is the test. And they, what they, Arkansas they, game at? The Ar- you know, they play that in, like, in Cowboy Stadium. You know, that's, that's the test. Game. That's the test right there. That's going to let you know what Arkansas and a and about right there that week. 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, shit. So, the ceiling, the floor for me is 7-5. And, and the ceiling, honestly... I don't see us. It's not ten games. It'll be nine. It'll be nine for me. Yeah. And I and honestly, I, well, I would say I'm eight and four. Ten. Ten. I say eight and four is the ceiling. Is the ceiling? I'm saying ten. Because I think. Because honestly, I think you lose the A and M. I think you lose the Bama. I think you. Um, you could lose Arkansas. Lose the either Arkansas or Ole Miss there. Um, I think you. State. I think. <laughs> Tennessee. I think here. you win. Who? Mississippi State. Gotta come. Mississippi State, I think you win, but that's a toss up too. So that means you have to win a couple games um, that you're not favored you in. But they can do it. I mean, they can do confidence. it. First four games at home. They can do it. They can do it, bro. And I'm going to tell you the key to that shit, in my opinion, is the front seven defensively. Mm-hmm. They have to play as we expect them to. And the secondary cannot have. Bus early, no, right? right? We can't just have motherfucking you, running wide open. You know, you know what I think the key to, like you said, D line, and the other key is offensive line to me. The well, trenches, both both trenches. It's gonna, and, and I'm gonna tell you, cause see, these coaches, dog, people, people, uh, you know, people always tell me, you know, you gotta have play, you do, you gotta have players, you gotta have players, but our coaches have to put these guys early. In successful them. positions. You have to put Nussmeyer in successful position. You have to put Jaden Daniels in successful positions. You have to put them in positions that are comfortable. And these coaches know that shit, man. They know that. We ain't saying nothing that they don't know. They have to put these guys in comfortable positions to where they're now successful and they're comfortable with what they're being asked to do. And that's going to be the key to me. You're right. The interior of the football team, offense, defense line is always the key. But we forget about these high-paid coaches that put the game plans together, that wants the, 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 the team to do it a certain way, and the players have to go out and execute. But it's the game plan that put together and the decisions that's going to be made in, in-game decisions for yeah. these guys. Got you it. know what I mean? So, shit, it's Coach Sloan and Denbrock and, 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 and uh, what's the head coach's name? Brian Kelly. I'm hey, guys, some thing, And I have some defensive coaches, I mean – you know, defense has a little easier time 
so to speak, because they can know they fly around and make plays. Yeah. Offense, we got to jail a little bit. That's mm-hmm. always been the case, and ain't nobody making no excuses. But so seven and five is the floor for me, and the ceiling for me is either eight and four or nine and three, bro. It's gonna be ten and three. We're what you win. got? We're gonna win that bowl game. What you? Uh, I ain't talking about the bowl yet, though. I ain't talking about the bowl. I ain't including the bowl. I ain't including the bowl. Yes, I am. I ain't um, including the bowl. What I got? What you got? I'm gonna go nine and three. What's your What's your floor? Oh, my floor is seven and five. Seven and five. Yeah, seven and five. Does anybody think that they could go beat five hundred? Less than five hundred? Go less than five hundred? Yeah. I would hope not. Like with five injuries, and seven. With injuries, I can see that. I mean, if we talking about just think about it though, if we're talking about all these games being toss ups, right? Games possibly be, could go both yeah, ways. It could be below five hundred. That's what I'm saying. Man. That's what I'm saying. You got to win. You got to establish, you know, as a new staff and everything, you want to establish your home dominance, right? Yeah. You got to win your home games, and you want to beat the teams that you expected to beat. Mm-hmm. And then you want to upset one that you not expected to mm-hmm. win. So that means LSU will have to, will win Southern, will win what, UAB, right? Is it UAB? Mm-hmm. Will win New Mexico, right? Will win Mississippi State. Cause they're at home. What's the other home game? Tennessee, at home, right? Yeah, we'll beat. We we sh- oh, we'll man. win Tennessee. So that's five right there. Mm-hmm. Now you got Ole Miss on the road. Ole Miss at home. Ole Miss at home. So see you, see that Ole Miss game at home. That could be the one. Yeah. You got to win that one. Mm-hmm. Cause it's at home. It's at home. So we still talking about home down. So if you lose that one, now you're at five and one, right? Then you got A and M. Who you got? Florida State, you think that's a win? That's right? a toss-up. It's the first game of the season. All right. Southern. Win. I, I'm counting Florida State as a home game because I feel like LSU home team. No, what so I mean by that is though, it's the first game of the yeah, season. Yeah, I get you. You but got a uh, new center. You got new everything. It's the first game. Yeah. It, so whoever don't make the out. least mistakes win that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Southern, Mississippi State, New Mexico, t- Tennessee, Ole Miss, Bama, and UAB, that's your home game. You got you, you, you to split those. You got to at least win them ones. Now, you know Bama, that's going to be hard. The rest of them bitches, you got to win. Yeah. For real. You're going to be able to compete with all of them. The Tennessee yeah. is every one of them. You're all these, all these games you're in. Just Absolutely. Because, just based off of talent. Of 100%. Them. But you got to win. You got to play. Yeah. You got to play the game within the game. That's exactly right. So, and these coaches got to do some shit to help them get over the yeah. track too. Like it's gonna be a couple calls and all that. Yeah, and see, that's what I think. I think we'll be good in that department because I, I think Brian Kelly is in the position where he knows like how to make decisions in game. I don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> They did win a tight one against Florida State. Man, I ain't see that man do nothing in the SEC yet, dog. Oh, yeah, you got to show For real. In that big dog league. Bro. Yeah. That boy. Because, see, we forget about it that, like, this is a debut for some players. This is a whole debut for them. Yeah, everybody. Every, this is a whole well, new stat. Well, some of them been on stat, but as far as, like, in LSU mm-hmm. and making these calls in this band, they assholes get tight, too. Because Matt House was the defensive coordinator at Kentucky. So right. he's coaching this. Right, he so, has. So right. he knows. Man, house, house, right, right. He right. knows what, right. what to expect coming you right. out here. His asshole tight, too. Yeah, oh, but I you know at LSU. Is. Bitch, you ain't at Kentucky. Yeah, it ain't Kentucky no more. Yeah. Man. But you're right. House, I forgot about uh-huh. House. House. See, defense got a better idea. Yeah. And he been in a league. Like he yeah. House it. a monster, though. He I ain't seen lying. it, though. Oh, yeah. House a monster. That's why I say that. He gonna, if Perk going to play, he going to play. Because oh, House going to play the oh, best. No, he's going to play. Oh, I mean, got. I want to see that boy start. If Harold Perkins is not playing linebacker for the Tigers this fall, it's gonna be a motherfucking problem. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm going. I'm going. It's gonna be an outcry from me if Harold. That boy, what I just seen of that kid? Shit. First round pick. He is raw. So seventy five. You saying ten and three? What you say, OP? So, <clears throat> for the ceiling, I could probably see like ten and three, but for the flow, maybe like seven and five. So you going with me? 
Yeah, 75. Like that, but it's but like, you're giving them more wins. Yeah. You're giving them more wins. Y'all got a lot more faith than I do. I mean, I'm just, look. Well, we used to be the last two years just been hard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's been hard, though. It's been hard. I was out there in L.A. It was just, it oh, was that hard. was a, oh. It was hard, dog. I'm glad I wasn't out look, there, though. I'm thinking we going out there. We about to go play this Cali team. We about to go play them boys out west. You know how we did last time we played a team from out west in Oregon. We just straight dominated Ran them. through them. Ran them off the field. Paper so I'm thinking tigers. we about to go to the Rose Bowl and show these boys, like, this how that this how it go in the boot. Right. This ain't no Cali football. We ain't getting cute. Had a long here. flight back. A long, ugly flight back. So I'm telling you, bro. So yeah, I'm. It's just a bad taste in people's mouth, and I think it's a bad taste in the team mouth. So they like, we gotta show them something. Like this ain't LSU. Them last two years, we gotta scrap that, close the book, and just right. T- open a new book and start a new write it, write a whole new book. Yeah, I think they beat. I thought. I think they beat up. I think they beat up for sure. I think they be there for sure, and I think they beat them convincingly. And it may not be convincing by like the st- by the score, but I think they play hard. I think they knock their ass off, and I think they show, especially in Brian Kelly's first game, uh, what it's gonna look like. Yeah. I definitely think they come out and they and they win that football game. Yeah. What you got on the, on the score, Jay, for the year? What's the set? What's your floor? Six and six. Oh, that's a new one. That's and good. Then- my ceiling. Mm-hmm. Don't don't you say eleven and one though, dog. Mm. Probably like either eight and four or nine and three. She probably got the best prediction out of all of us, cause that sound about right, dog. About five hundred, seventy five. We gotta just. I don't know, bro. I just gotta see us play. Like I. I know. I know. It's like I'm. At this point, we. Do, I feel like I've seen enough. I know. Sp- like fall practice, all of that. No. The same drills, all of the. It's not the same drills because they do switch. But it's drills. drills. But it's drills. (laughs) And then you see the one on ones. But it's like, if you want to see them go against somebody other than their teammates, they see every day. So they know every movie. That's why a lot of them schools do that satellite camp shit. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like. Go against McNeese. Yeah, I'm ready. Or to Southern see. or something. Why yeah. do you schedule? Uh, I don't think they could do that in college. Though, you can't right? schedule. Uh, I don't think you could do like the the joint. Oh practice yeah, you camp can't. Thing. You're right. That should be. A, that should, they, they should do should, it. They should do it. But it's probably like something with. They're already paying them. Yeah. Do it. LSU can went right down the street. Let Southern come up here. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? They right there. Let them come practice for a day. Yeah. Scouts come come, share, out come drink some of our Gatorade and all yeah, that. Yeah. Let the boys see the facility. You know. They, they, I they think it'll be dope. Yeah. You already playing them? I mean, man, listen, man, all these damn rules, these rules need to go away now with all the NIL and everybody getting money anyway. Just take yeah. that out of the way. Let it be able to LSU. Why can't LSU go down the street and practice with Southern? Why Southern can't come up here and practice? Yeah. And You know what I mean? Like I, don't, I, I mean, I'm but sure it's a reason. To, yeah, but, but then it would turn into a big thing, and you got Michigan coming down here practice against LSU or well, LSU going will, to Michigan. Like – the Saints doing with Green Bay, you know, but stuff just, like that. Yeah, but I mean, like, you don't have to travel anywhere so to fun. do it. Huh? That's probably so fun. Nah, That's what I'm saying. NFL you know, players hate camp. I know, but I'm talking about the college guys. I, you don't gotta, you don't gotta like fly all over the yeah. place. Like everybody got a school close to them yeah. somewhere. It's just different. How did you, you just getting to play against somebody different. How did you feel about joint day? practices, bro? Man, I ain't well never as part of no joint practice. For real? Y'all didn't do joint practice when you Not when I was in New England or Arizona. Nah, they started that shit after I was out the league. But I would have loved it. That's what I'm saying. I would have loved joint practices. Like, you go, like, it's a more realistic look. Just for work purposes. Yeah, just for work purposes. They don't know what you're going to run. They're running their shit. But then you see your homeboys that's on the other team, joint practice. They usually stay in town for a couple, for a week or two or whatever. Because it's usually like a game for real at the end. And so... I would have loved that shit, dog. I'd have loved joint practices. See my homeboys from 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 LSU on other teams. We get to have dinner, hang out, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like yeah. that. I shit, I'd love joint practices. I ain't lying. For real. You been watching hard knocks? That's what she would that's what y'all were talking man. about. No, man. Hey, like bro, you gotta for De- with the Detroit Lions. Man, it's good. It's just like you no. know, you could tell they really like they trying to but they, they trying to do in, something. They they trying to do something and they yeah. buying in the uh Dan Campbell, like, yeah. is, is... Dan Campbell, good, though. He's yeah. a player's coach. Yeah, I mean, he's a Dan, player that coaches. That's what, but, what I'm saying. But, you know, you don't always get... get no, they don't always... Co- you successful. don't always get the 
the players that transition into the coaching position and their players' coaches. Mm. You don't always get that shit. He actually is one of them guys. Man, Dan Campbell transitioned beautiful. Them guys love him. They run through a brick wall for him. That hard not that hard not shit. Though. I haven't watched that since they had the Cowboys on there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Since they had the Cowboys on there, I haven't seen it. The Cowgirls, I should say. For real. You asked me about that earlier. I'm gonna have to have to watch our episode. Don't say it, for real. To uh, the uh, catch up on it Pretty or something. Good. You know what I mean. And you know they got so, all NFL former NFL players at Stanford. Oh, I know that boy Shep, yeah. my dog. Shout That's out to that boy Shep, man. My dog, LSU, y'all dropped the ball on my dog. He's supposed to be the coaching linebacker, mm-hmm. but he's doing great things in Detroit, man. Shout out to Shep, man. Look forward to seeing. It. They got a great staff. That's what I'm saying. Detroit is a great staff. You're right. I might have to watch a little episode, yeah. dog. I might and, and talk about it next week or something. For real. So Kim Moki, we're gonna wrap it up. Shout out to Kim Moki with the great job that she's done with the LSU women's basketball program in just a year. I thought it was two years. It's been seems like boy, getting in all these top recruits. And you know they, they got a poll out yet what they ranked? No. Cause you know they're gonna be ranked high now. They not probably, probably not in the top. To, huh? You're not gonna put it up probably to like September, or early October. Okay, but they, the they probably won't be in the top ten, but they're gonna be up there. Shh. You think they're gonna be in the top ten? Top fifteen. Top fifteen. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, She's gonna be up there. Shout out to Kim Moki, man. LSU sports program dog is doing pretty damn good right now. Scott Women's Moore, basketball, trust. uh, baseball is doing well. Um, gymnastics always does fantastic. Now we just got to see what football going to do. You know, that's the one that brings it all home, football. So we'll see what them Tigers going to do coming up here Labor Day weekend. In New Orleans against the Florida State Seminoles. Shout out to Brian Fletcher. Mad dog, that boy Dave. Cypress Hemp are our sponsors, man. We're going to be back at it again next week. For my guys in the studio, we're going to see y'all next week on Where My Dogs At!